Please stitch this if you've ever had an instance of sleep paralysis and tell me everything because I had sleep paralysis the other day and it was like the first time ever, hopefully the last, and it was the creepiest shit I have ever had in my life. So basically, our air conditioning in real life is is over. It's got like, it, it just totally crapped out. We need a new system. But until we can get it like worked on, we brought in air conditioning units, little small ones, so we put it in the majority of the rooms. Anyway, they make a little bit of white noise, which is not terrible and not bothersome, but on this particular night, music and singing started coming out of one of the units. And I realized what was going on. I realized that, that was my brain just kind of filling in gaps and stuff like that. And so I told my fiance, or tried to, I tried to turn and tell my fiance, like, hey, can you turn that off? Because it's really bothersome. It's not really allowing me to sleep. And I couldn't really move. I couldn't, like, I was just, like, super trapped, and then the singing got louder, and it's louder and louder in my ear to the point where it was, like, practically screaming in my brain, like, just the music and the singing and all of that was so loud, and it was so bothersome, and still, I'm knowing that it's not real, but then my fiancé kind of shifts, and I feel the bed shift, and I feel him close to me, and I kind of just see, like, this figure over me, but again, it's dark, um, and so I've been sleeping and my vision was primed for the nighttime, but it's still like a dark figure. And he's telling me something. I can't remember what he was saying, but I, I hear him talking to me. And then it hits me. This is not my fiance. This dark figure over me. Like I, I keep having this split image of my fiance actually sleeping next to me. And then something over me trying to talk to me. And it was saying actual words, but it also had that static quality to the voice. And so it's there in my face, and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> please wake up. And I couldn't move. I couldn't move for the longest, and 100%, I understand now why people thought that demons were like on them or sitting on their chest or making them unable to move. It was by far the creepiest thing I had ever felt. And so this loud, whisper, staticky voice is in my ear now with this menacing, dark creature thing over me, and then the singing... It was almost like gospel music. It was really weird, which is super loud. And the whole thing is just screaming in my brain. And then I finally snap out of it and I finally sit up and I was like, oh my God. But it did not feel like a dream. It was not that dreamlike thing. When I woke up, I honestly couldn't tell if I was like awake, awake or not because that whole entire period before that did not feel like a dream. There was no dreaming about it. Like there wasn't, it must have been like a mashup or whatever, but I just, I, craziest shit, man.